Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we have a huge array of green envelopes. Hmm, looks very familiar. You know what that means. Today, we are gonna be doing another Baiyi photo card haul. Woohoo! Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> So yes, today's video is of course brought to you by Baiyi. I work with them like a bajillion times. So yeah, you guys know the drill. If you don't, Baiyi is a Japanese proxy site that helps you buy things from Japanese stores that are like Japanese only, you know, like domestic shops that don't ship internationally. So Baiyi is like that middleman, your bestie, that'll help you get those things from these Japanese stores. Like for example, in this video, I specifically used Makari Japan, which is very prevalent amongst K-pop collectors for like photo cards that are like harder to find or like a little cheaper or whatever. So everything here was bought from from Makari Japan through Baiyi. People always ask me where I buy my photo cards and I 90% of my cards are bought from Makari Japan. So yeah, if you guys wanna know how to use Baiyi, I actually do have a little tutorial on my channel. I'll go ahead and like card it or link it down below. And yeah, if you guys want to check out Baiyi for yourselves, I do have a special little code or link, I guess. If you click the link in my description and sign up, you can get two thousand yen off your purchase like excuse me that's like almost twenty dollars usd so that is a lot so go ahead and take advantage of that if you are interested in using Baiyi and want to buy like photo cards and whatnot so yeah again thank you so much Baiyi for sponsoring and yeah anyways let's get to this video because this video is very exciting um a majority of these cards are going to be of a new collection that I re-picked up, I guess, which is TXT, more specifically Subin. So yeah, I bought a lot of Subin cards, like a lot. So buckle up, cause we're in for a long ride. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with these smaller envelopes and then we'll get into these bigger ones. Okay, holy crap, there's a lot. I kind of remember what I bought, but let's just see <laughs> for ourselves starting with this first envelope little life hack that i recently like discovered i guess if you like open them carefully like i did right here you can actually save these envelopes and reuse them to like ship out like postcards or if you're like trading or selling like bigger inclusions just use these envelopes voila free supplies so yeah a little life tip from me okay this is very interesting packaging Oh my, really? This expensive of a card and they put it in this. Um, okay, but anyways, starting off, we have this NCT card. This is Geno's Hello Future Kino card. And I didn't want to buy this card. I would have preferred trading it, obviously, since Geno is quite an expensive member, but I could not find a trade. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just sell my card and then I'll end up buying Geno's. So yeah, this is his future version, I believe. I did find a trade for the Hello version, which was good, because these Kino cards are quite pricey. Like, why is Geno so damn expensive? But yeah, anyways, here it is. Oh my god, this fit though, with the pearls and his like, name. Such a cute card. The back is so cute. Ugh. Hello Future was just a cute era overall. And yeah, now I'm done with my general collection again. So that is exciting. Moving on to this one. Ooh, another very exciting card that completes another collection. If you guys have been following my channel for a while or like have been watching like my 17 videos or my photo card hauls or whatever, the pain I had to go through just to get this damn photo card, oh my God. For some reason, this card was just so difficult to get. I know teenage cards are difficult to get in general, but like literally every single time I ordered this card from Makari Japan, like it would always get canceled for some reason. It was so freaking annoying. And yeah, I literally had to buy this card like four times, not even kidding, but finally this order went through. So yeah, honestly, I'm so glad that I finally have this card because this was dead ass the last card I needed for my Myongo collection. This orange teenage card, holy crap. But I finally found it for like a decent price and the order actually went through. So yay. Oh my God, fetus Myongo. Yeah, it's so sad that he's not gonna participate, him and June in the upcoming 17 comeback. But honestly, it's for a really good reason. Like they're seeing their family after like a really long time. They get to chill. So yeah, I'm so happy for them. Okay, this one's a bit thicker, so I'm kind of excited to see this one. Oh, this looks like a bunch of cards. 
cards. Oh, are these freebies? Oh my God, what? Oh my God, they gave me a freebie. What the heck? I feel like this is the first time I've ever gotten a freebie from a Bayi package or like a Makari Japan package. Oh my god, stop. This is so cute. This was not in like the description or anything, so I had no idea. This is so freaking cute. I want to like hang this somewhere. <gasps> Shout out to this seller. That's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, but yes, our first Subin card of this haul, the first of many. I did recently get back into TXT. The comebacks were just too good and I just really... I've been thinking about collecting Subin for a while actually, like even before uh, th their recent comeback. I've been thinking about it just in general. So I finally bit the bullet. Oh my god, this packaging is kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. Those cards were like really taped on that cardboard. But anyways, I actually wasn't planning on collecting like these bigger cards. It's just that... This was really like the only set I could find for a decent price. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll get these two. This is definitely not gonna fit into a binder. Like I'm planning on putting my Subin collection in an A5 binder, spoiler alert. So this will definitely not fit. And I have two of these also. So I guess I'll like sell one of these or something. I don't know. I wasn't planning on getting these. I mainly bought them for these cards, but yes, this is from Magic, right? Dream Chapter Magic these ID cards. I also wasn't really planning on collecting these ID cards. I was mainly planning on collecting like selfie cards or whatever, but for my setup, these just made sense. So I just decided to get it and they're really cute. So yeah, we got both of the ID cards. So we have the black version and then we got the white version. Yeah, before they started doing normal photo cards, but these are so cute. So yeah, there's that set. It's honestly so like interesting seeing how these different sellers package things. <gasps> oh my God, this card, yes, OMG. So yes, this card, oh my God. This is like the most difficult card to collect from Hengare because everyone just loves these like four photo cards, but I finally got it for Wanu since Wanu is like the third member I want to complete my collection for. This card was kind of pricey, but definitely worth it. Like these four selfies are so cute. This is like my favorite type of card for Hangares. So, oh my God, it's so freaking cute. <gasps> oh, okay. This is kind of an interesting card. So yes, BTS, what are they doing here? So I kind of recently decided that I think starting like from now on, I will try my best to collect Taehyung's cards because like, I don't know, like I still like BTS and I don't know, for some reason, like it's kind of intimidating to collect BTS. Like I'm too scared. I feel like I'm a little too late to the game, but I just decided from now on, I think I will try to collect them because I really do love Tae and BTS. And these cards, these butter cards were really, really cute. Now I did pull like, group cards for both of my Butter albums if you didn't see that so I was like you know what I think it'll just be easier to just buy his card than to trade it so yeah but anyways this is cream version correct me if I'm wrong but oh my god this card is literally like everyone is just out to get this card but this card wasn't like horribly priced I guess for BTS cards but oh, this card is so cute by the way I'm gonna say the word cute probably for every single thing so uh you've been warned Ooh, this one is just bubble wrapped, which is interesting. So yes, we have yet again another Subin card. Now, I think when it comes to collecting Subin, I think I might like collect like as many selfie cards as possible. Like for example, this one is from their season's greetings for 2021. It wasn't that bad, so that's why I decided to get it. Like I'm not gonna get like super expensive selfie cards, like lucky draws like from blue hour or whatever but if it's like decently priced and it's cute and it's a selfie then i will try to get it so yeah that's like my rule for collecting subin and his album cards so yeah the back is so cute though the fact that like he's like there a mini version of him so cute so yeah there's that card oh my god this 
we're like seriously getting a variety of cards. Like I know I said a majority of this collection, I mean this haul is gonna be of Subin, but I did get like a bunch of different cards first. Like I really wanted to take this time to complete like collections that I've been wanting to complete for a while before I started my Subin collection. So yeah, but oh my God, this card I've been trying to find for like the longest time. This is from uh, Stray Kids is like, I guess their debut Japanese album, like this is more of like a compilation album, I guess, but yeah, it's from SKZ 2020. I think this is an album card or like a Tower Records card, I honestly don't know, but I really wanted it and I finally got it for like a pretty okay price too, so yeah, but look at him in this Jaguar print or Cheetah print or Leopard print. Yeah, but it's so interesting how it's a calendar card too. Imagine just like having this around, like what day is it today? But bam, they are coming out with another Japanese single though, which like, oh my God, already. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so this card is, I think it's a EGU pre-order benefit for freeze. I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah, this one's also pretty okay price, so that's why I got it, but yes, this is another pre-order benefit. He's so adorable. He wrote like a little message on the back. Yeah, really forward to like collecting him and like storing all this, these photo cards in my binder. I'm so excited. Subin is just the cutest. Oh my god. There are just so many like difficult cards in this haul, aren't there? Yeah, I really took advantage of this sponsorship. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm almost done with my Manu collection actually. Like I made a lot of progress because his cards are just so freaking expensive. So yeah, I did not hesitate, but yes, it is this card, Teenage White. Wanu card. If you know, you know. For some reason, this version is like the most expensive out of all the teenage cards. Like, why? Like, I don't know why, honestly, but yeah, I got Wanu's white teenage card. This one, this one was a doozy, but I was like, I gotta do it. I have to do it at some point. So yeah, I just took the risk and got it. So cute, but again, like, why is this card so much more expensive like than the other ones? Ooh, more Subin cards. So yes, I wasn't about to get this card too. I pretty much wanted to get like cards that would fit in like a standard like A5 pocket page. Cause like I said, I'm gonna put my collection in an A5 binder, but this came in a set. So I was like, okay, why not? So yes, this is from the Dream Chapter Eternity. Apparently these cards fit into the A5 like pockets. So yeah, hoping that's true because if not, then that would suck, but this card is so cute though. Yeah, and then it also came with this clear card. I know this card doesn't fit for sure, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's still really cute. It's like a cute little clear card. Honestly, I hate it when like they tape it in the corners. Like, is that like super effective, you know? I mean, I guess it could like fall out from the corner, so maybe that's why, but like, I feel like it's better to tape it like this, you know? I don't know, it's just a, that's just me. Oh my god, another expensive ass Wanu card. Yeah, if you know, you know this and Ode. Hope version, again, like people just love berets, including me, so they just tend to hella overprice these cards. Like an Ode card should be like, what, like five to six bucks? This one was like double that, but yeah, this is like the cheapest I could like find it, so I just went for it. But yeah, it's his beret card, and of course there's two of them, so double the trouble, but we got one of them and it's super cute. <gasps> oh my god, okay, y'all. This card was definitely an investment, like, okay, so recently, like, NCT 127 are, like, ambassadors, I think, or, like, they're collabing with this brand called Slow Acid, and why did they have to do this? Because literally the clothes are so expensive like by itself it's like 80 dollars for a sweatshirt or something like that and each purchase comes with like one out of like two photo cards or like i think four photo cards actually and that just makes it so much more expensive obviously and of course mark is an expensive member so i was really hesitant on buying these cards because of just the price it was so expensive but i decided i wanted to get at least like one selfie card per like drop so for this drop because there's multiple obviously um i got this one it's so freaking cute i think this is his design sweater probably but yeah the back is also like really pretty too like i love this like 
graphic design it's super cute but damn like it's just so expensive for these cards like because the sweaters are so expensive so but i had to these cards are so cute oh my god okay Ooh, this is a pre-order benefit i believe again i freaking hate it when they like tape the corners like why do y'all have to do this uh, yay this is again another like Oh, this is a blue hour. I was about to say freeze for some reason, but yeah, this is a blue hour period of benefit. I forgot which store it's from. Is it from EGU? Yeah, it's a selfie Polaroid. So I was like, okay, I guess it's cute. I'll get it. Fine. So yeah, but yeah, super freaking cute. Oh my God, these Subin cards are just, they're really coming in, aren't they? But I believe this is his other Seasons Greetings card for 2020. Of course, this one is so cute because it's in a beret. Oh my god, his curly hair too. So adorable. Oh my god, whoa. This just like confused me for a second. But so yeah, we got that. Are we surprised at this point? <gasps> Yay! So these are freeze photo cards because I only pulled one freeze card for Subin and I decided that I really wanted to like, I don't know, I guess keep my pulls because I love all of TXT and just buy the rest of the Subin cards that I'm, I was missing. So yeah, I did pull the other version. I think it was the U version that I pulled. So I found this set, which was literally perfect because at the other three cards that I needed. So yeah, we got the boy version, him in this cute little like varsity jacket. This is probably my favorite card, the world version. This concept is my favorite. His makeup though, I love it. And then this is the OS like Star Seeker card. I can't believe I didn't pull Subin. Like these cards are super cheap anyway. So yeah, that's that. Oh, whoa. I think I know what these are since there's so many of them, but let's find out. <gasps> yes, I was correct. So these are some of Vernon's, I think this is their most recent Carrot Land like fan meeting. They do so many damn fan meetings, it's actually insane. Like, 17, like, they're just doing so many things and they're releasing so much merch. I seriously can't keep up, so, like, they gotta chill. <laughs> seriously, I'm gonna go broke. But, yes, this is from their most recent Carrot Land fan meeting. And luckily, though, like, I collect Vernon and Vernon is honestly, like, one of the cheapest members. So, yeah, thank God, otherwise I wouldn't be collecting this many cards. For some reason, this Carrot Land set was like super difficult to find. Usually Vernon's Carrot Land cards are like so easy and so cheap to find. Like usually it's like $5 for his whole set, but for some reason this set was so difficult to find. So I literally had to buy this like bulk set with like multiples of these cards. And I bought the extra card from Emma actually, so I finished it, but yeah, that's why there's so many of these. Yeah, anyways, first we have this cute little like selfie one and it's hollow, like, oh my god, even the back is hollow. Oh my god, he is seriously so cute. So yeah, here's two more. I'm probably gonna end up selling these, or maybe I can trade to Wanu if anyone's interested. I don't know, but next we have this one, which is also hollow, cute. And then we have this one, this shirt, and then we have fucking two more of these, lol. And then we have three of these cards. Yeah, like seriously, why did they have to give so many? But the price wasn't that bad. Like if I'm gonna resell these, I'm definitely getting my money's worth. So yeah, we have this one. And then like I said, I bought the last one from Emma since she coincidentally had it. So yeah, that was perfect. Oh, it's actually right here. Yeah, thanks Emma for selling. But anyways. More Subin! I can never get enough, clearly. So yes, this is another pre-order benefit. Frick, I, I keep forgetting like which stores they're from because they just do so many pre-order benefits. But is this from EGU also? Or is this from like Weavers? Oh wait, no, it's not. Weavers Japan? I think this might be Weavers Japan. I might be wrong though, but... It's another like selfie like Polaroid card. So of course I had to get it. The back is also so cute. I love these little like designs in the corners. But yeah, there's this one. Ooh, what? Oh, is this another BTS card? I think this might be the second V card. Oh my God, I need to stop saying V card. That's not appropriate. <laughs> yes! Oh my God. So this is, I think this is the Peaches version for 
Tay's card. Oh my god, these cards are seriously like so superior. Like, I'm actually really happy that I bought these. So, yeah, again, from now on, I will collect Taehyung. I hope I can live up to that statement. But yeah, him in this like bandana too, like the background is so pretty. Oh my god, more Wanu! This set, I'm actually surprised that I found because this actually wasn't like horribly expensive. Like I thought it was going to be since it's like an old album era, but I found this entire set for like not bad. So yeah, but this is Wanu's like, this is three of his cards. I think I bought his other one like from a different package, but yeah, we have this one. This is the Make It Happen version giving us a little f-boy lip bite then we have this one it's so funny this is like giving f-boy this one's giving like second grade first day of elementary school vibes <laughs> sorry wanu don't mean to roast you but that bowl cut though lol and then we have this one with chung on this unit so yeah oh what's this <gasps> Ooh. Do y'all see this? Oh my god. So yes, we have my first Subin Lucky Draw. Like I said, I know I said before that I wasn't going to collect Lucky Draws, but I think, again, from now on, I will start to collect most of his Lucky Draw cards. Because if you buy them, like, while the era is still happening, like, they're not badly priced. They're, like, pretty, like, standard, so... Yeah, like, if you buy, like, it after the era's over, like, that's when it gets difficult. Like, Blue Hour cards go for so expensive, so... Obviously, I'm not gonna go back and get the Blue Hour Lucky Draws, but... Right now, the Fighter Escape ones are pretty, like, decently priced. It's just that everyone's trying to buy them, so that's what makes it a little competitive, but... Yeah, I don't know which one this is, though. I think this might be either Soundwave, I think. Yeah, oh my god, my first TXT Lucky Draw. It's so freaking adorable. I love him in this, like, Skater Boy look. And oh my god, these are so, like, thick. Like, I didn't think they would be, like, literally a credit card, like, thickness, which is crazy. Like, dang. I guess, you know, if you're paying so much for them, I guess they gotta up the quality, which makes sense. But yeah, yay, my first lucky draw. <gasps> More Wanu. Okay, so this was actually kind of a perfect set. I think I needed both of these Oh wait, actually, I don't think I needed this one. I think I already have this one, but I had to double check. But I think I mainly bought it for this Hope Beret card. So this is the other one where he's like touching the tip of his beret. <laughs> this one, and then this one is from, oh, it's also Hope, but like the white back one. Again, I think I might have this one. I'm not sure, I have to double check, but yeah, there's that set. <laughs> I see hot sauce. Oh, I thought this was an album card for a second, but I was like, wait, I already finished Mark's and Jeno's hot sauce set, so... I don't know why they did so many damn rounds for EGU, like, seriously, like, they gotta chill, you know? <laughs> and the fact that, like, Mark is in a 127, so they're gonna have more EGU fansign cards. Oh my god, I'm getting a headache just thinking about it, but yeah, I forgot which round this was. I think this might be round three... But don't quote me on that because they're literally almost identical. But yeah, the back is also really pretty though, so I guess I can appreciate that. But yes, I did buy his other rounds in the different package, so those should be coming soon. <gasps> oh, yay! Okay, this one is the Weavers like Korean creator benefit, so yay! It's so cute! So yes, this is, yeah, it's literally says right there, Weaver Shop, but it's from the Korean store. Oh my god, it's also him in this skater look again. Look at the face he's making, it's so cute, so. Ooh, another Weaver's pre-order benefit. Okay, so they also included this. I mean, I don't know if this code is taken, probably not, but if you guys want to have that, then there you go. I can't use it because I'm located in the US and it, they don't allow it in the US. So, but yeah, we have this clear card. Let me put it in a sleeve, actually, just so y'all can see it clearly. But yeah, we have this Weaver's period of benefit. I was, again, I wasn't planning on collecting like non-selfie photo cards, but I think I might use this for the cover of my finder for like decoration. I'm still deciding, but I just bought it just in case because it was like an okay price. So it's kind of cool, I guess. It's kind of weird how the picture is like this small though. Wish I was a little... Can this focus? Oh my god. There's that. Down to our last three envelopes. Dang. Time kind of flew by, actually. Let's see what this is. 
<gasps> Ooh, another Subin. So this is from their recent DVD that they came out with. I think, yeah, this is from their most recent fan live, the Shine Together Life DVD thingy. I know it came with a set of cards, but I just wanted to get Subins, obviously, since this is like kind of a selfie, I guess. So yeah, oh my God, the back though, it's really cool. But it's him in this little like thingy. <laughs> this outfit though is so cute. Yeah, we have that Subin. <gasps> oh my God, do y'all see this shit? <gasps> oh my god, the most coveted freaking blue hour card or TXT card in general, I swear. So yes, I did get Subin's blue hour sets, not including the uh, ID card thingy, but Subin R. <gasps> oh my god. Honestly though, like obviously this was kind of pricey, but like it was actually like one of the cheapest like options out of all the ones I found. So I just decided to get it, but yay. I didn't have to trade my Yunjun, which is exciting because I wanted to keep my Yunjun pool, but oh my god. I've actually been kind of wanting this card ever since it came out, even before I started to collect TXT again. I just thought it was so cute, but of course everyone thought it was cute, so yeah, but I can't believe I have it now in my hands. It's so freaking cute. This is literally legendary, oh my god. And then we have his other version with the pink back. This one's also really cute too, but yeah yay his blue hour sets oh my god that's so exciting let's see what it is oh <gasps> oh my god the other slow acid card for mark oh my god so of course this was their most recent drop and the shirts were like i think 50 or 40 dollars i don't i forgot but of course they came up with four more selfie cards. They almost look like so similar, but I think these are all like AR cards. And I saw the AR clips on Twitter and they're so cute. Literally, why is Mark the most like adorable person in the world? Like why, but oh my God, the bag, like all the members like designs. It's so cute. So yeah, Teddy Island and Slow Acid. The shirt is questionable. Sorry, Mark, but the card is so cute. Again, this was like so pricey, but definitely worth it okay moving on to our big envelopes this feels kind of tiny so i don't know why they put in this big ass envelope but i guess we'll see what it is really <laughs> they put this tiny ass card in that big ass envelope <laughs> okay but yes we have more mark non-album cards Literally, NCT, like, never sleeps. I freaking swear. Like, they have to collab with every single brand in existence. So, yeah. But anyways, this is his card from their most recent Nature Republic collab. Like, all these fucking collabs. I, I'm sick of it. But, yeah, I got this card. Ooh. So, yes, he's, like, giving us model. Yes, love it. There's a signature. And then the group photo on the back. Love that, honestly. It's kind of flimsy though, do you guys see this? But yeah, it's so sad though because the Nature Republic in my closest mall actually closed down recently, literally right before NCT became the ambassadors, so that's sad, but oh well. Oh whoa, it's this card. So this is the last Eternity card. This one actually has like half of a selfie, so like I'm not mad at it. I'm just really hoping that this fits in my A5 binder pockets. If not, then I'm gonna cry. But anyways, the back is also, oh, it's upside down, whoops. But the back is really pretty. And then we have this one. Ooh, I love the red like jacket look. It's so cute. And then we have half of a selfie. The first ever like selfie card, LOL. But yeah, we got this one. Okay, our second to last package for this video. This is very interesting. So again, this is from, I think this is from their most recent Nature Republic drop, but this was like a little like cute set. So it came with this like clear hand fan. I don't really collect like fans or like Uchiwas or whatever, but it came with it. So I was like, why not? It's so cute. I can like display this somewhere. Look at how cute it looks, oh my God. But I mainly bought it for this. Yeah, it's like a little like clear Instagram card. I don't know, it was like pretty cheap, so I was like, why not? It comes in this little like package thingy, like Instagram themed. I'm like a sucker for like social media themed shit, so 
Yeah, I'll like keep this in here though, but okay, there we go. So it's like a clear card. It's hella flimsy though, which is kind of frightening, but I thought it was cool, so why not? This is the final package, and I know what this is, which I am so excited about. I was so shocked when I found this listing, so yeah. Okay, so this was deadass the last Yeti card I needed for my collection. Like, I could not find this card anywhere. Like, for some reason, like, out of all of her old album cards, this one was the most difficult to find. So, yeah, like, I was struggling. But I found this with the album. So this is the Velvet album, uh, this version, I think. So, yeah, and this is actually an album I was missing from Red Velvet. I don't have all of Red Velvet's albums yet because they're, like, out of print, obviously. But it came at, like, a normal, like, album price, like, 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, this is a score. So, yeah, let's do a quick little, like, unboxing, I guess, since I never opened this album. But this is, like, the old, like, jewel case. Oh, the old album packaging though from one of these nights era oh my god top tier song though like the vocals here's the jewel case is there stuff in here oh it's like lyrics boring <laughs> but yes oh my god throwback to this packaging though and then the main events oh my god i just like fucked up the background ignore that but <gasps> Oh my god, I can't believe I finally have this card. So yeah, I finally finished my Red Velvet Yeti collection because this card was the absolute last card I needed and I was struggling, but yay, it's from the Velvet. It's like a non-selfie card too, which is just kind of annoying, but she looks like gorgeous here, like giving us Renaissance. Is that the right era? Probably not, but yeah. <sighs> Yay! Okay, so yeah, oh my god, that was a really loud clap. But yeah, that concludes this video and this big ass haul. So yes, that was my most recent photo card haul sponsored by Bai. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to check out Bai for yourself and get that 2,000 yen off coupon, click the link in my description to sign up. And yeah, thank you again, Bai, for sponsoring and for helping me get all of this stuff. If you enjoyed watching this video, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos like this, and yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys!